Hi guys. I am currently making a quesadilla. To make an amazing, delicious, beautiful quesadilla, buy these tortillas and then get this Mexican cheese. It's Mexican style quesadilla cheese for melting. I already cooked this tortilla. I usually don't cook them this much because I have to put them back on the pan to melt the cheese. So that was on accident. I usually like them to be like that. I'm going to put that one back on because I need to put the cheese on. Put some cheese and then just put that on top. Let it sit for a second and then flip it. And then you just cook it like any other quesadilla until it's fully melted. Just so you guys know, this is my second quesadilla of the day. My quesadilla is just about done. If you guys can see how creamy and delicious that cheese is. Since some of this cheese is showing a bit, I'm going to flip it. I like push it down a little bit so that the cheese on the side can get a little crispy. My quesadilla is all done. Look at her in all her glory. The cheese got a little bit crispy, just how I like it. I made me some potatoes for dinner. Our electrical issues with our apartment still isn't fixed. So that's how I have to use that blender or whatever. As you can tell by that last clip, I was not in the mood to film. That was on Saturday and now today is Monday. I went to our apartment office because I told them, oh, sorry, we have electrical issues in our room. Like I have to be so delicate with this switch to turn it on. There we go. I went to the apartment office to remind them of the electrical issues because it's been like two weeks since I told them and no one's been by. So I went there and told them and I think they might have forgot to make the work order because I told them today and the guy came today and fixed it. And guess what? It was the breaker box. The breaker box is right behind our door. I don't know why I didn't see it there, but last time I went to the apartment office and I talked to a different girl, she told me I couldn't access the breakers. She probably just didn't know, but if I could have just known that like two weeks ago, I wouldn't have to make my mashed potatoes on the floor. But now we know, so that's good to go. I'm currently getting ready to take myself on a date. I'm going to Jurassic Park, um, the movie. <laughs> I'm going by myself at 2.15. I've never gone to a movie by myself, so this will be a first, but I'm not too scared about it because I went to Thor with Zach on Sunday, so I already kind of know the theater and I kind of know what I'm in for. Thor was so, so, so good. Like, everyone needs to go watch it. It was the best and so funny. I feel like if I was going to a movie by myself in Utah and there's like a higher chance of me seeing someone I'm, I know, then I would be a little bit more anxious because I don't like seeing people I know, especially when I'm by myself. But I enjoy being by myself and doing things by myself. So I think this will be really fun for me. have to go with this. Does it look terrible from the back? No, it looks fine. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with it. It's not the best bun ever, but it'll work. I fixed, fixed. I definitely didn't fix it. Honestly, it might look worse than it did. I haven't done a bun at the top of my head since I cut my hair, so it definitely doesn't look as good as it would when my hair was longer, but that's fine. We're going to stick with this because I have to head to the movie theater now. I have my favorite t-shirt on, my favorite jeans on, my favorite shoes on, and my favorite bag on that I never wear. 
this cute necklace that I never wear. <laughs> and then my favorite necklace. And yeah, that's the fit. I'll miss you, but you're gonna have some me time at home, huh? I love you. I tried to kind of fix my bun with putting a scrunchie there and I think it looks better, but we made it to the theater. So let's go in. I'm so excited, you guys. Like I sound, I sound weird. <laughs> sound weird, but I'm so excited. Jurassic was really good. The first hour was a bit boring in my opinion, but the second hour was great. My eyes are literally watering because they're adjusting to how bright it is outside. So I'm gonna sit in my car for a second until my eyes are adjusted and then I'll drive home. I got a kid's um, combo. The kid's combo was like $7. And if I got a popcorn and a drink, that would have been like $14. So I did get a kid's combo. And look at how cute this cup is. I love Spongebob and I got a mini plankton. I'm literally keeping this cup forever. I got Mr. Pib and it's amazing. I think my eyes have adjusted. So I'm going to go home and see Miss. You like my new cup? Mm -hmm. I miss you. Did you have fun watching the movie here? Say hello everyone! Do not pay attention to how I look right now. I am having the laziest of lazy days right now. I don't have like any energy. But Zach just texted me and he said his sister Michaela sent me a package on Amazon. So I'm going to go see what it is. And I thought I would film. Sorry, I just started my car. But I thought I would film myself going to pick it, up, pick it up and open it because I know she watches like basically all my videos. So she can see my reaction. I made it to the mailbox. Our um, apartments has this cool little Amazon hub. I don't know, maybe that's like common, but I think it's really cool. I wanna show you guys how it works. So you put in the code for the package and then it says door opening. And there it is up there. Ooh, it's heavy. What do you think it is, sis? Okay, we made it home. Should we see what's in here, sissy? this more than me because he takes even more baths than me but I did just take a bath this morning so Michelle must be reading my mind naturally derived ingredients and tear free it's the honest bubble bath truly calm Michelle, you are too nice you no, you're not too nice you are the perfect amount of nice you're the best thank you for this I really 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 appreciate it is this like your favorite bubble bath or something like I need to know. I need to know what made you decide to buy this for me because this, like, I'm so grateful and I'm going to use this every day, but I want to know what, like, brought this to your mind, you know? Okay, wait, I just found a note in the box and it says, get relaxing from Michaela. Oh, I'm going to get relaxing. I texted Michaela and Zach did send me two codes, but I thought he sent the second code because he messed up on the first code. So she actually sent me two packages. So I'm heading back to the mailbox now. We secured package number two. 
So let's see what's in here. The note says, love you from Michelle. I love you too. <laughs> Mashayla, you are kidding me. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny and cute too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. She got me a Kindle. You guys, is that not the best gift to ever receive from anyone? Like a month or so ago, we started talking about Kindles because I've been wanting one, so I asked her if she had one, and she does, and she uses it all the time, and she really likes it. And she mentioned that Prime Day was coming up, so I should buy one on Prime Day. Prime Day was this week. It was like a three days ago, I think, two days ago. And she texted me. She's like, are you going to buy it? Are you going to buy a Kindle? It's Prime Day. I was like, no, I don't have the spending money for it right now. So she got me one. my heart but now it makes sense the bath soap with the kindle so i can relax in the bath and read a book on my brand new kindle don't mind my appearance <laughs> but i completely forgot to end this vlog but i didn't want to end this vlog without saying thank you again to michelle i seriously am so grateful and appreciative of my kindle and you because I've already read my first book. I finished it in two days. I read The Perfect Marriage. I thought it was really good. I haven't read a book in a really long time though like that. So I was into it the whole time. I literally finished it in two days. Now I'm reading Mary Jane, which is really good as well. I'm only like 30% of the way through with Mary Jane. And then after that, let me see, I have my Kindle with me right now so I can see. I have another book that I'm going to read after that. My Kindle's just waking up. But I love the Kindle because it shows you what percentage of the way through the book you are. Does that make sense? Am I wording that correctly? It doesn't seem like it. When I used to read paperback books, I don't think a lot of people do this, but once I got to a new chapter, I would count all the pages in that chapter before starting that chapter. Maybe that's just because I wasn't really into those books, but I can't do that with a Kindle, so it's perfect. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Everyone's been talking about Colleen Hoover books on Instagram, so I'm like, hey, I've gotta get started on the ones I can read right now. Yeah, so far I've been loving it, so thank you, Michelle. I love you, and thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.